Hi, welcome to Yo Soy Neighborhoods Fresno. Today we have Aganishka Gill, attorney at law, and she's a generalist, uh, but she deals with a lot of forms, uh, stay away order, domestic violence, re uh, restraining orders, temporary restraining orders, order shortening cause uh, to get the uh, order uh, in place in a short period of time. Um, she's going to um, go over some of these informational uh, forms and also give you an outline of how to use the court site so that you can file your orders on your own. Um, most of these uh, orders are made, are put together in a way that you can follow it step by step, um, page one, page two, and then it tells you uh, the proof of service and how to serve it, when to serve it, and all of that information. So we're going to ask Aganishka, mm -hmm. could you give us a, just, a, just a short debrief? You've been here in Fresno how many years? Uh, so I've been, I moved here in 2001. Okay. I arrived in the United States in 96, I believe. Okay. And you're a graduate from? Uh, San Joaquin College of Law. All righty. Great. And uh, you're a generalist, you yes, say? Yes. I do not have specialty now. <laughs> All righty. Could you, what form would you like to go over or did you want to go through? Well, at first maybe you would like to sp uh, speak what are the restraining order and Good. what they do and do and do not do. And mm -hmm. uh, these are the... Uh, like a short uh, way to protect these are we call them the protective orders. They they uh, stay away orders is a part of the uh, in restraining order mm -hmm. because it, they but they can do a lot more different things and there are four different types uh, of restraining orders depending on the relationship between the parties. Okay. So let it is or somebody's status. So if somebody is elderly over sixty five or over, they can use elder abuse orders and they have speci and they have specific. Uh, they have some specificities to, to them, what, what they can do. There are, they have financial abuse, for example, which is very permanent, which the other orders do not really mm -hmm. contain. Uh, the domestic violence orders uh, are not just for the uh, people who are married or living together, but can be anybody within a family, which is considered a family unit. A family unit, right. The, both these orders, the, the burden of proof uh, is, uh, is uh, more likely than not. Preponderance of the evidence mean, means that you can obtain those orders based on, based on uh, uh, like declarations that submitted to the court and you can mm -hmm. obtain those orders. In other words, there is no is trial. swearing that they saw they, such and so. There will be a hearing, but uh, initial order you, you obtain by submitting uh, the request to the court and the court re reviews it, your declaration and declaration of your witnesses or other documentation and they obtain the initial order that way and and then you go to the hearing and then I will make it a uh, permanent or they, they uh, dismiss the case. Uh -huh. There is no trial in those cases. Mm -hmm. This is only so-called at the most long cost hearing which is about 20 minute hearing when there is a, a both parties present evidence but that's the, the, the largest extent of the court procedure mm, right. Got it. and and there's also civil <clears throat> restraining order if you're not elderly and you're not uh, in a family relationship with somebody neighbors. the neighbors there is a civil restraining order mm -hmm. you know harassment order these are a little bit uh, usually the court makes you to go to mediation just before the hearing mm -hmm. in those orders mm -hmm. uh, and there's a little bit higher burden of, of proof on this there's a clear and, and um, clear and convincing evidence which is a little bit right. higher you're usually gonna have to have somebody come testify and uh, have a decent or maybe you had a police report well police re incident po police reports are uh, technically not admissible evidence in They're normally not. in the court of law these are considered hearsay because that's what somebody said and they're, right. they're only gonna in reality the police report it's useful as a reference, but it's really not admissible so evidence. Did. However, they suspend it for, for restraining orders. They kind of close one eye and, uh, and they are helpful. Help. So whenever okay. I would always advise if something happens, document it, make a call if it doesn't. Mm -hmm. that, so there is an incident report you can attach it to. So there is a narrative other than your own mm -hmm. that that supports your, that, that something happened. Or if you feel like something's gonna happen, take someone with you to be a witness. The, 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 the biggest issue, because those orders are usually given without you speaking to the judge, they just review the paperwork, so mm -hmm. documenting them is very, very, so declarations 
a screenshot of your phone, you know, if you, yeah. you know, so all the thing that is, as, you know, one piece of paperwork, obviously, is better than 10, 10, uh, 10 witnesses. It is, it's okay. something that you can able to, uh, to present the case. So incident reports are very helpful. Your, you know, if your friends, whoever, you know, witnesses that they can submit the declaration, that's very helpful. Okay. And in, it's, you kind of, um, when you look at the forms, you know, usually you can start at the beginning, your name and something, but usually the, I would go to the third page when there, is, when, the, when there is actually, you know, when they ask you what happened. You need to have a narrative, what happened and how you were harmed and how you were, uh, Do you remember the whole and thing? yes, how you were harmed and, and not, it's not only about their past harm, because that doesn't really, uh, doesn't provide you remedy for your past damages, right. but it to prevent your future harm. Why are you afraid mm -hmm. that so that person... Like a historical memorandum of yes. what's so, happened, a timeline? So it is not so much... Yes, this is... Yeah, so this is like here. That's where the narrative goes. Yes. And pretty much these forms, you can go step by step. As you're yes. reading them, You it says answer this question, then go to number five. So, so the, the court have, you know, this I brought one of the package. When you go to the court website, Presta Superior Court, you go forms. Then here on the bottom, it says form uh, instruction packets. And here are the whole entire, all kinds of things. For example, oh, yeah. uh, there are... The different types of forms yes. that you can Judgment uh, protect it or to prevent elder abuse. They're kind of a different mm -hmm. names. I, they are right. unusual yeah. names. For example, here is domestic violence information, the restraining order. Yeah. So response. So they broke them up for different uh, things. And when you open them, like like here, it, it gives you instructions. So you can actually mm -hmm. follow up mm -hmm. what is the information part right. and how you fill it and out. See how they gave a little pointer where to yes. go. Yes. Uh huh. And then, then they say only fill out which sections on it. Mm -hmm. For example, you what need to know what pertains to your yeah. situation. Because you usually have to mm -hmm. give the, mm -hmm. this first always, you have to give uh, something, the document, so the court can fill out the, give the mm -hmm. order. So you just fill out your information. And then you, uh, then it's the order as well. You also fill out only the, the, your information, your name and your address. And the rest, sorry. And then, then you go to the part that you are completing. And this, mm -hmm. that part it is, it is important. And then, you, who you are, who you want to be protected from, who is asking for the order. Because with the elderly abuse, it's a little bit different. Uh, you can actually ask for, for a stranger on behalf of someone. So uh, if somebody is elderly and they're not really, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. they recognize and not able to really No power uh, of attorney is needed? Uh, yes, you would need to have a power of attorney okay. or conservatorship mm -hmm. or something of it's that sure. uh, okay. effect. But if you do have a power of attorney, you can file on behalf of someone. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, so you, that's why you do a power of attorney on there or no? Yes. No, another... then you have to, for, for that you need to have a, you need to go, uh, you have a, you need another republic to sign the power of attorney. Okay. okay. And then you have the contact information and then provide the description of a protected person. Mm -hmm. And you can in, in, even include, let's say, if you have somebody else living with you, uh, you can or come often to your house and you would like to always protect it and then your relationship to the parties. With, with the, Elderly uh, people, you can have, there are two types of people you can be protected from. One is the family members or somebody that uh, uh, that it's related to you, the, uh, but doesn't have to be. The other one is somebody who's a caretaker. Uh, uh, let me take care. 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 Yes, care. caretaker. Yes. Caretaker. Yes. So there are, these are often used for people who are in nursing homes or in hospice or oh, in the same really? kind of institution. That's good to know. And these are, the, so these are can also mm -hmm. be a vehicle to protect mm -hmm. them for, let's say, they're not being, because if the not doesn't have to be abuse, it can be also neglect. neglect. So Abuse it is, and neglect. So it is abuse and neglect. Wow. So that's, okay. a, that's, that's, that's. When did this come in effect? Is this a fairly oh, the new moment thing? It's, the moment Jerry signed it, it comes into effect and it's, and then you. Did this just happen like a couple years ago or because I, I didn't know that you could actually get someone on the home health care or, at a facility because we've had some issues here no, in Fresno. It's, it's, Actually, they, been they just went through one. There was a big one in the news just recently. This, the they've been around for a while. I don't know yeah. if they've been if they've been so uh, well put together. Right? As long as I've known, I'm just wondering like if they don't know this exists. I think that it is not so much of the forms. It is uh, uh, the yeah. uh, 
ability to know that that is a remedy. Yeah, so and available. Available, yeah. and they mm-hmm. said this is just, uh, you can be either protected either uh, phys- from physical harm, it mm-hmm. can be abuse from, there's a very large spectrum of yeah. type of, of, of a harassment or abuse or mm-hmm. financial harm mm-hmm. or or, so or neglect, or can be actually perhaps neglect. Perhaps somebody is not eaten. For quite some yeah, so time. that's that's why it's smaller because you can also With somebody who is taking food, care of or you, not taking care of them source. when they need yeah. food, they're yeah. not turning them if they're acute too. So yeah, there's yeah, all, that all the going on. all the lawsuits which usually go for let's say somebody not being uh, well taken care of, they usually will use that as part of the other. Mm-hmm. And uh, these forms when they're filed, you can use like if you're on food stamps and different things. Oh, these are they always they no they always free. Doesn't matter it's how much you make free. money, they're always they're free. free. And also when you when they sign, you take them to the sheriff's office. But it's free for everyone. For free for everyone. Yes. And they, you take it's them to just, the sheriff's no, office. It's not and based they also, on your income? No. 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 Oh, These are okay, that's all good to protective know. orders are free to everybody and the service is also free. The sheriffs okay, will serve them for you. The, you. the sheriff's office, the, the civil service. And that's in the elder abuse only? Uh, all, the, all of the restraining orders. All of them. All of the restraining orders. Okay, Every restraining like order, if you get get the TRO signed by the judge, you can get a free service from the from right. a, from, a, from a sheriff's right. office. And if you need an uh, an immediate order, you can call the yeah. officers, and they can give. A, a, uh, yeah, if you're in danger, then you right. call, Emergency and they one. they usually make a decision, and they will call the judge and issue EPO. Usually in the in an emergency. Yeah. But that's a short term. It's that's like forty eight um, hours or no, I think it's three more, days. I think or, maybe I think it's up, up to five days. Yeah, I believe maybe. it gives you a sufficient time to put one of these. And in it's place. and it's very and it's only a, a protect. It's it's only stay away order. Mm-hmm. But, you know when when these orders can be actually move somebody out of the house. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can. Uh, you with uh, domestic violence orders, mm-hmm. for example, if you submit income and expenses declaration, you can actually get the child support and spousal support. Mm-hmm. You, but you need to submit to the, you need to basically almost do like a mini divorce mm-hmm. through the I means so because you can separate the property, what property you would like to have a control yeah, of. Yeah, even so, the paternity. Mm-hmm. Yes, thing so, there. that's so pretty good to know. The, for the people only that thing are... is that I always say, usually when I would get them that I, they file initial paperwork. They forget to attach the income and expense declaration, which is not part of the packet. Okay. So it's it's just in any time you ask for money, you have to uh, provide what. what These money. packets are available at the court. There are uh, uh, at the court and online. And online. And and then you can they can fill them out either that way, print them out, Go and fill them here, out, mm-hmm. and they go step by step. If you Response. like, go yes. to uh, also harassment, and uh-huh. then it will go through each step. And there also is the, another, this is the, these are the forms, you can fill them out on your computer, or you can complete the interview and and that will submit an e-file for you online. Right. So that's, uh, it's here. The e-filing is, what, January of 2018? That's fairly new. Before, um, I, I don't know, the, they, I, uh, for, for attorneys, it's I know mandatory. for attorneys, yeah, I mean, att- yeah attorneys have so I, I don't know, it's, 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 it's easy to e-file, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's a little bit of a, uh, it, you don't have to print as much, <laughs> but yeah. it's been around for a little while. So it, the, the uh, people who are self representing they, they have a choice to do it either. And mm-hmm. if you if you file your restraining orders, then you usually if you don't do it through the court website, you can just go to like a green, let's mm-hmm. say uh, mm-hmm. the uh, let's say green filing or something. They give you different. Uh, then you just set up the payment accounts as waiver. Because you just it's 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 for free, so you don't well, have to pay even. For people, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, so it's it's. Yeah. So the, folks, you just need to get down to the, well, get to the screen here. Can you go down just a little bit? So you know, if you suspect somebody is being no, abused I mean, and they're up, elder sorry. in your family, I mean, this is so they the can place see the to header. go to. Yeah. Okay. They so you just to go, go to the Superior Court of California County yes. of Fresno. Yes. You and can. you'll see these three boxes mm-hmm. there. This is the actual site itself. Yes. And then you can scroll down, and then it gives you the listing of whatever mm-hmm. type of order that you're needing. Okay, mm-hmm. and you have civil or harassment, and if you go family down, is coming soon, so that there's yeah. gonna be a family one that looks like limited conservatorship uh, of a petition for appointment of guardian of a minor. Mm-hmm. See, and this is like a triage. I mean, that they will actually help. They will uh, con- conduct the interview days. for you, and then they will pick up the form, the type of an abuse that you mm-hmm. are kind of form you. So, as I said, here we have a four different types. Elder or dependent adult, domestic mm-hmm. violence, civil harassment, and work for workplace violence. 
this is when it, this is only the employer can file those on the behalf oh, of, a, oh, of an employee. Okay, good, so if somebody good, good. You, you somebody works for you, let's say you have a pro, uh, somebody a provider who works for you, mm -hmm. and is being harassed by your neighbor <laughs> for whatever reason, you can file. You a, can a, protect. Them. You can protect them. You have to file the mm -hmm. order to protect them in the in a place of work. Mm -hmm. So uh, so these. Uh, so this, but this is where I have not even seen anybody really using them, but they can be. I would think the workplace one would be really. I don't know if they even know that because that wasn't even brought up when we did the thing on workplace violence about a protective order. It was more about well, no, that was a different. Language. That yeah. was a different. But he was issue. talking about precaution issues. Yeah. So but that's like a that. different. That's separate from this. This this is more of a consumer um, situation. Mm -hmm. So any consumer, so husband, wife, daughter, son, mother, child, uh, But the uncle, workplace violence, aunt. if you're working with somebody and you feel yes. there's something going on, you can report it. Yes, oh, you, yes. Can, you, you, you can, can, always, you can always file the yeah. civil harassment order mm -hmm. yourself if you mm -hmm. want yourself want to take care of the, uh, the, you know, the things. In, in the there is a rule, because I did file one for one gal at a, at a workplace and she didn't know what to do. And as an employer, there was a, a form that I could fill out for them to keep them away. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, yes this is the mm -hmm. one. Yes, that's the one. And it's telling, it's saying, as a matter of fact, I think there was a civil code that said that an employer, if they felt like it could become a dangerous situation, yes. mm -hmm. they were man man mandatory yes. to file the document. Yes, mm -hmm. because then, then you're liable, because then you're right. you, 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 it is. Okay, so. And that could be anything. That could be that they're saying something about you, or they've sent you an email. At well, work, yeah, it's, it's you know that's, anything it's, at work that's it's, you, you, intimidating you. To, you. You know how repetitive it is how dangerous it is. Is it a possessive threat, or is it just annoying? You know, you have to kind of be. Some yeah, right. cases a little bit different. Sure. You just need to know. Sure. You also want to know does does it present the, yeah. uh, the possibility danger. of a future of escalating mm -hmm, harm? Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. what the, the we did talk for. about that with the workplace violence, how the person would talk about doing something. Right. And like it sounds like this could a be a remedy, but it could also be a remedy if you hear them saying it that if you think they're going to carry well, it that's out, that's why they, you they may made it a mandatory yeah, thing for the employer. Yes, may do that because they can see what's going on. Perhaps you got a mechanic and working, and the wife comes in. She's kind of crazy. That's why I filed it, and she was showing up just at all different times of the day, and and she would get in the face of the employer. And at that point, when that happens. You have to pull this up and say, okay, we need to file this to protect our yeah. position because we don't want to get sued as right. an employer. Yeah. Yeah, so that, this is actually more for a, uh, to kind of to benefit the liability companies for mm -hmm, employees. Mm -hmm. uh, because, but it's, I would always say in, in a situation like this, the court should not be the first step. Mm -mm. You always you want to at least try mm -hmm. to resolve it somehow send a letter and it also and it also provides you some kind of uh, an argument that it that was not resolvable without uh, mm -hmm. you know going for the courts so mm -hmm. that's but mm -hmm. these are as i say this is no trial these are relatively simple forms and i would and lots of attorneys would let's say you can you know, you, you can do a limited representation you want to talk with somebody who can be able to assess the situation, tell you mm -hmm. what kind of evidence you can uh, you can uh, mm -hmm. gather and how mm -hmm. to argue the case. We're not as helpful actually in a in a courtroom in those during those hearings because mm -hmm. the judges are used to propers, but we're helpful in preparing the paperwork. Okay, so got it. it's it, that's that's got when it. you really, it's not so much the hearing that the judge will read the paperwork, mm -hmm. they will know what to do, they mm -hmm. they usually have an idea if they're gonna rule. It is it is the paperwork really. That, got it. Uh, yeah. So we, it in other words, you have to have details. As it's to just, what yeah. what has occurred, how many times, it maybe document the, the the dates. Yeah, to if have a consistent narrative and to have something that say this is what happened and I and this is how I document this is what happened to mm -hmm. have the mm -hmm. timeline to, mm -hmm. to exactly so that that's usually timeline. when I help out uh, mm -hmm. the clients that usually is putting up the timeline and then to try to get as many doc mm -hmm. documentation. So then, uh, what was the other one in here that was? For the employer, you uh, have oh, but this one, this a was domestic, a civil, civil, a civil, civil restraining order that is, uh, uh -huh. and uh, the, 
you do not have okay you use this as a stock harass sexual assault and threatened for violence and mm -hmm. it, this one harassment it is it is uh more than just one incident there has to be a pattern of conduct mm -hmm. it has to be, mm -hmm. cannot be just one one incident one that incident you and somebody off screamed and, at you and you had yeah. a scream within somebody there has to be a pattern of conduct mm -hmm. and you need mm -hmm. to show that there is a reasonable uh, probability that you are can be harmed because this these mm -hmm. orders are to prevent future harm they are mm -hmm. not to remedy what happened to you if you want a remedy let's say because somebody damaged something of yours then you file a lawsuit, a let's lawsuit. Say, you know right. for damages mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. these are not lawsuits for damages like you can mm -hmm. you can obtain mm -hmm. some uh let's say if somebody destroyed your property you can include in your request a payment for the for 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 repair of replacement. property a replacement mm -hmm. of property so you can you can include some uh some monetary damages that person caused through their violence or harassment. But generally speaking, this is not so much, and courts are not really fixated mm -hmm, on, mm -hmm. on, on remedies unless it's, right. but they will recover the keys for the mailbox. They will get stuff like that because somebody walks out with the, let's say, takes your mailbox keys or whatever. Yeah. And it's, and it's they sometimes there are things that you need or documentation or something, you know, they, they'll take mm -hmm. things that don't matter and they will recover them. Recover. So, the, so mm -hmm. this is a way to obtain some important things you can get some mm -hmm. uh, compensation, but it's so not and really then you damages. have the domestic violence. Yes, domestic violence it is probably the most often used, uh, and it's as I said, this is a very broad group: spouse or former so spouse, spouse, cohabitant or former cohabitant, uh, current or past dating relationship, wow. parent or child. It's more mm -hmm. so It's going to be everybody: mm -hmm. uh, brother and sister. <laughs> Uh, step parents, step child, step, you know, this is in laws. So it is really broad. Mm -hmm. You know, if you will be in a village, probably everybody would qualify. Yeah. If any, yeah. And this, this. So, and and it's, in, and with abuse. So mm -hmm. in the abuse is in if there is, uh, the, the abuse is kind of you know some these little kind of malleable thing. If there is a physical violence, there is no question it is abuse. Right. But very often the the things and very often the physical violence and and uh, that usually police gets called and that gets diverted into a criminal court. We've been and if in criminal court, if somebody plea bargains and they they usually gonna have the criminal restraining order mm -hmm. come with it, and then you don't have to do a civil one. We were always trained that to do a domestic violence, even if there is a domestic criminal case, because if they drop the case, then you're not gonna be without the restraining order. But my uh, my uh, my thinking on this is that even if you will file one, then if you have a criminal case going, then there is going to be a restraining order, mm -hmm. you know, pending. Mm -hmm. If they'll drop the case and you and if you file a civil one, you're still going to have to wait until the resolution of the criminal case because they will not going to be able to testify right. because of the criminal case. So, so you could wait. Right. So on <laughs> behalf of the child incident, um, it would, in yes. most cases, be a parent maybe. Or a third party because I'm so, thinking of this. Okay, so let's say somebody, Arambula somebody, let's say you have dating relationship on. and it's it's bad to your child. Let's mm -hmm. say it's abusive to your child. You would file a restraining order against that person on mm -hmm. behalf of the child, and you can be yourself and the person uh, and child be protected. Or the how does teachers do it? Because I understand there's a lot of teachers that are alerting. Well, yeah, they, they cannot really on file on because they the relation they put the relationship is they would not they would not mm -hmm. have that kind of yeah. a, they might advise to file a restraining order by there would be civil mm -hmm. harassment order but it's you know with children I don't know I don't have done the yeah. lots of cases. I'm just thinking of this current thing with Arambola that's kind of a. He, I don't. His spanking was off or something. Oh, you're talking you know. about Mr. Rambula. Yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah. So who knows? I, uh, yeah. You know. you know, these are these are these are unusual, unusual Someone situations. Someone said they, they said he she said he. These said. are always. That's why I say it yeah. is it is very important. Even you know emails, text messages, voicemail, preserve them. You know, just make if, if you don't know how to do a screen saver, go to the photocopy machine and just make photocopies of them. And they are very, they help. The, and the, mm -hmm. the, the the judges will allow you to play them you know you know mm -hmm. sometimes in a courtroom without yeah. so it's the very uh, so there's different types of abuses so you have physical yes. uh, threats or spoken threats mm -hmm. or in writing and you can keep a copy of whatever is written but you know abuse may be also let's say uh, would they be able to record like you can yes you have you, on can, your you phone, have a you right, can record it usually for that you can write to a court. Mm -hmm. is, you know, if you okay. are being abused, you, you are able, you, there is a court mm -hmm. section that will allow you. It's also sometimes, I had that somebody had, a, let's say, restriction of 
of, of freedom, let's say. Somebody does not allow you to go anywhere. You don't allow mm -hmm. to go anywhere. So the money you go, you're being questioned. Right. That doesn't allow you to open a bank account. You don't have, you, all the money is, is, is mm -hmm. you know, they control your money. So it doesn't have to be physical, uh, it can be mental abuse, and that mm -hmm. would be physical abuse. Mental, or, or and mental, and that emotional. emotional abuse, because somebody, let's say, it, they control basically all your resources and the ability to go, and you're being questioned all the time, mm -hmm. and they follow you, and they check your phone. That would be also abuse. Okay. Just have more. Usually, usually, even if you don't want to hire an attorney to represent mm -hmm. you, go and consult mm -hmm. somebody even on the. Would street. they now? Would they accept pictures like it says here, uh, not to destroy your personal property? Say somebody got some of your like your computer and stomped on it. You could take a picture of yes, that. Yes. Yes. And attach it to yes, your document. Yes, absolutely. Uh, ev and, and better and more evidence than, than better. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's, it's sometimes then it go then go a consultant attorney and they will tell you oh that's gonna be relevant that's gonna be to that uh, that point that point and that right. point and right. then will match to what element. So the the picture and the date as long as they're matching you, 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 want, you can do you as want many to incidents. Have, you want to be able to tell a story right. and if you don't have any other evidence that's fine too but mm -hmm. it's all it's good to be able to because you have to convince somebody right. because that other person that you are against got their their freedom is going to be constrained they're not going to be able to use a gun there's going to be mm -hmm. on a record mm -hmm. this is not a you know it's you're going to have you know it's, it's a very it's, serious it's 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 going to be in there and it's going to be there forever and they may not going to be able to do certain jobs and it's it is so this is a serious mm -hmm. stuff so you need to have be able to convince somebody and the restraining orders they can be for one year they can be for five years it can be you can renew them after five years even if a new incident happening if you mm -hmm. for five years you say i'm still scared you go and ask for an mm -hmm. extension and but, you get one uh, if you move out of the area and you're away from it don't they what dissolve you need, well you need when you're going to be applying for an extension you want to say why do you want an extension right. if you if, if you know you have to provide some grants right. but it doesn't have to be anything if nothing new happening right. so if it says i'm still scared i know this you know it's, it's and still. then you have on that other side and that's the that's elder. the el elder abuse and mm -hmm. this is here 65 years so because it's the, older. you to qualify for these orders you have to be able 65 or be a dependent adult somebody who is under conservatorship mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or but even i even seen somebody not necessarily but even somebody who is disabled they don't mm -hmm. necessarily have to be conserved you know in the, that's the legal status not gonna but let's say but they're dependent on somebody let's say, in other words they can't stand up for themselves yes. physically in some yes. way yes so, so you will be able to use somebody with disabilities regardless if they have actually mm -hmm. been conserved or not that's my understanding and right. this the uh the it has a little bit broader, a kind of expanded uh, ability to prosecute financial abuse. It's a little bit more, when domestic violence is more about protecting uh, uh, safety and, uh, you know, actual safety, physical mm -hmm. safety, I think elder abuse is more about neglect and about financial abuse and about uh, protection for somebody from you know un undue mm -hmm. influence and some uh, to mm -hmm. get them out of it and and mm -hmm. this is very useful because it can be used against institutions mm -hmm. or and can or against a person right. so mm -hmm. you can be protected from an institution so if can, they're like in a rest home yes or yes in, these are exactly that so, their so, so it has taking to, their ebt card and, it has, and, and taking and, it from them and that's the only like order that. that allows you to uh to have and it's usually when, when there's a situation like this is going to be more than one legal remedy, but that's something where you can get right away and mm -hmm. quickly and it can, uh, it will uh, provide you a protection. Let's say you can stop something, you can move somebody out of yeah. the house, you can stop access to the person, you can quickly cut off uh, their ability to, to harm them more. So right. th that's right. what in, in instantly. So give in. us, give the audience kind of a quick overview, just of, of about two minutes here mm -hmm. as to how would they know when they should access these forms? What would be the key point? I think that it, the thing is, is to, to uh, if something is happening, uh, what is, uh, if something is a, a pattern that you've been harmed, that you believe that you, uh, is this more than just annoyance, mm -hmm. something that has, you think that it can escalate to something that can cause mm -hmm, danger mm -hmm. to you or somebody mm -hmm. close to you. Right. 
then I would go and consult somebody. Okay. If it is, there are, if you want to kind of stop harm before it happens, that's what they're designed to do, or stop harm that is ongoing. Okay. If, if there is a physical violence, there is no question you absolutely need to do this. If a little more other kind okay. of things, a more nuance, I would uh, recommend to go and speak even with an legal aid or somebody to just get the consultation mm -hmm. to somebody to evaluate if that's mm -hmm. something what qualifies. Yeah, so, uh, so even a, a young lady or a mom that has a child and maybe the they have never been married to that partner, and, but they and have a child and in they're those fearful. Yeah, that, that's absolutely, they're fearful and they can get, uh, as I said, uh, partial support if they're married, if they're not, the child support, if they're not married, mm -hmm. they just need to submit the paperwork uh, together with the restraining order, submit income and expense declaration. Right. Uh, that is, just right. type that out and then uh, to uh, submit with that and right. then you can get, let's say, use of a car, use of an apartment, you can move the person out, you can get monetary support, you right. can get some. So that. just so that the audience is clear, any of, just go to this site, uh, Superior Court Fres for Fresno County, mm -hmm. and you can go down the line, and then this form here, this uh, grid, you can find on yes. what... And you have two ways of doing it. You can either go, this is like a triage, when you can uh -huh. fill out your forms online, or this is called, it's go here, online document help, right here, or you can go forms. Mm -hmm. And then here and are just packets of forms on different situations. Mm -hmm. So you can domestic violence or elder abuse, There's and that there's right. a lot of tools there. There's a lot of tools, and that these are all, these are a th these are those packets are that this is everything what you're supposed to uh, you know submit to the court to sign for you to request something for you to mm -hmm. obtain the order and for what you need to serve the other person. And all of these forms they can be completed online and probably can, within thirty or an hour maybe. Well, at most. yes. Well, it's you, you know. You know, your name and your address, the problem is not so long. It is mm -hmm. the narrative what happens. It is right. important. Like it's, it's, it's Describe like, what is happening. Yes. And, so, is it, and is it repetitive? Is that situation becoming so repetitive? So let's say this is, you know, description of abuse. Abuse means evil and then explain. And then tell the court about last time the person you named abused you. When did it happen? Who was there? Describe what happened. What was the uh, solely financial abuse that accompanied force? And it asks questions, so you it enable to, this. It comes as a questionnaire, and you answer the questionnaire. And it's it's good to review if you if you want to file one, go over the form and see if your if your situation. How would you answer this how question? it fits yes, into how, that particular yes, you know, form? Was there intimidation or you know has the you know how that refer, you know it yeah. just it's hard to evaluate very often that's why i recommend and it could be men or women like a woman coming up to you and say hey and you you don't do this blah 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 and very often i've seen the review on the clients that i had that they filed for a strain order and the other party filed one against them at the same time so yeah. you're gonna be mm -hmm. filing two you know yeah. at yeah. the same time because mm -hmm. it's usually there is some a conflict there is a conflict so right. this is not unusual so, so why don't you give folks your phone number and your website address? Uh, um, for, you can just Google my name. And my phone number is 559-346-8216. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And if you uh, Google my name, Agnieszka M. Gill, uh, then I'm Agnieszka Gill, I will pop out. My website is downtown. Law.com, mm -hmm. uh, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> I've recently just been doing uh, with the website in Colorado. Yeah, or you can go to AVO, A V V O, which yes. is an attorney uh, review uh, site. Are you there? Are you Actually, there? Uh, yes. I, she said the show. Uh -huh. Oh, you are. That's where I researched. Actually, every attorney can be found. If you just remember the last name of attorney, you can go at uh, attorney yes. search, and my email is on there, and you can send me an email. My right. is, uh, uh, bar, attorney, you know, California State Bar has our information, yeah. has email, and that's the best way to do it. That's right. Me. That's right. Okay. So, so I hope this is informative, and you understand that you can do any of these forms yourself. It's zero dollars. It doesn't require you to be on aid or not, and you can protect. And as as she was, uh, Attorney Gill was explaining, you just have to have documentation showing how many times this has happened. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. And the more information you give to the judge, the more likely it is that you'll have an order set up. I have wanted. To, I just want to go ahead. 
when you're submitting the for, uh, uh, TRO, sometimes the judges don't grant it, but you still get a court date. So the judge might think that you is not enough in your paperwork, but you still get the court date. Go mm -hmm. consult somebody because it doesn't mean that you're not going to get one. You just didn't get the temporary For restraining that order. Moment. It doesn't mm -hmm. mean that you're not going to be able to get but one. But at some Maybe. point later on, that yeah, could you also could, be you, used you, as, It means that well, you still can get one before. at the court uh, yeah, during the court And then date. something happened in between that time. And I just right? had the client, I just that she did not. She thought that she just ought to, so I don't, didn't get it. She wouldn't abandon it. I'm like, no, you have a court date. Let's go and prepare for your court date. And she obtained the restraining order. Probably. Don't give so, up. So, yes, so it means that it was just not enough in a paper. Well, it doesn't mean that it's... There's another side to that, too. Don't use restraining orders to silence somebody. Right. No, right. The, and right. the, the they can things. be abused. That's happened to me. And well, so, the, the judges are pretty sharp. They go through these really. daily. <laughs> <laughs> and they know. See? No, we right know. Away. That's not true. <laughs> So. Some people try to manipulate it, but mm. I think that it's, you know, it's... Uh, it, Considering the number of cases going through the pike, I mean... Yeah, you know, if it's something like this, if it, the other part, the party is, let's say, a little bit dishonest okay. and get an attorney, even like yeah. a limited, uh, limited right. representation to... Right. You mm. will... Uh, get it set aside. Yeah. And but not, well, but we will, have our phones. We can take pictures and recordings. Yes, we have a lot yes. of lot of tools nowadays. Lots, and right. It's, and documentation always helps. Okay. Well, I really appreciate your time and coming over and explaining this to folks and uh, getting them to understand that it's right at their hand. It's easy. Don't be afraid. Ask questions. You can go into the court and they have an area where you can ask questions. Mm -hmm. All righty. So sorry we ran a little bit late, as they say. We had technical difficulties. Uh, next week we have our band, uh, Fire on the Mountain, and they'll be singing Pretty Woman uh, to all the moms. So thank you very much for tuning in to Yo Soy Neighborhoods, Fresno. Thank you, ladies.